Hello everyone, uh, so I realized that I forgot to do an intro to this video. I guess I was going to record it, but forgot that I needed to record it, and I am currently sick. So, bear with me, um, this is just my 2018 declutter, and I will go into more information in a different video, but I hope you enjoy this really, really long declutter. But yeah, let's hop into the footage now. So this is what I am dealing with right now. This is all of my makeup in my collection that I am either currently using or like I said, I'm about to declutter. As you've known throughout the year, I've been decluttering a lot of my makeup. So we're gonna hop into it. I'm just gonna show you a brief overview of everything. I have decluttered almost half of my collection, if not more than half already, but we're gonna declutter even more. Let's hop into hopefully a massive declutter. Okay guys, we're gonna start off with my setting sprays. Now as you can see, I've categorized them by brand and how many I have of each. So as you can see, Mario Badescu, I have quite a lot of them. Now I have gone already through one of these big bottles and I've gone through another one of these. I've gone through a big bottle of this. So I've gone through quite a lot of my Mario Badescu sprays. I used to be obsessed with that facial spray, but I will say in all honesty, it's not necessarily a setting spray. It does help your makeup uh, become rejuvenated throughout the day, but it does not set your face. It does help with powder and not making your face not look as powdery, but I would not use this solely for setting sprays. What I've been doing is just using these two bottles. I got rid of the two other bottles that were the exact same size, and this big guy, I got it on sale. I mean, they're already relatively cheap, but I got them on sale, I think it was last year, So, which is why I want to get through these. I'm going to do a project pan video in the new year so look out for that but what I will be doing is pouring this into these bottles and that's what I've been doing so every time I run low I will um, pour it into here so that I can get rid of this one and then eventually get rid of these now once I am done with all of this I'm either going to repurchase the rose water or the cucumber that's just an everyday refresher this one is another one of my favorites i wasn't going to repurchase but i used this recently and i'm in love with this this is the urban decay all-nighter makeup setting spray it's long lasting i should have used this for my my wedding it's beautiful i'm almost done with this so i do want to use it up and then once i'm done i will repurchase because it's a little old um so i will repurchase and this is great for those days that you really need your makeup to be locked in place all day long. These are the Cover Effects Illuminating Setting Sprays. I had a mini one, but you can't transfer the product into um, the mini spray, otherwise I would have kept that one too, so I just got rid of it. But the reason why I have two of these is because BoxyCharm sent me, well, I paid for it, but BoxyCharm sent me this bottle right here of the Illuminating Setting Spray, and I just purchased the Cover Effects. So had I known that, I would have just returned this one or not even purchased it at all. This is the one that I am testing out to make sure that I really love if I do love it then these will be my three setting sprays one for everyday makeup one for makeup that needs to be like performance makeup and then this one will just be a refresher throughout the day if not then it'll just be these two and this one I like this make it dewy by Milani I'm just not 100% sure if it's uh if the claims are true. It says it's 16 hour wear. I just really need to set down and test it out and make sure, which is why I'm doing a project pan. So that's gonna be one that I'm gonna be testing out. And then this one I do love. I just rarely use it. It's more for theatrical makeup. It's by Ben Nye, it's Final Seal. This stuff makes your face look matte and schlacked. Your makeup's not going anywhere. I just prefer the Urban Decay All Nighter over this. So I will be trying to use this up as much as I can and then I won't be repurchasing it. But I do wanna finish all of these up. So so yeah, goal for next year is to just have three, maybe two. We'll see. Next up, we have foundations, primers, and concealers. Basically any cream products that I use. Now, because I have really narrowed down my collection, the majority of the stuff I am gonna keep, but I am gonna get rid of some things. So for example, this I am not going to keep at all. This is the Bella Pierre Pro Concealer Palette. It's like a purple and a green and a red. I saw people using this in their boxy charm box and I will never use this. I'm probably gonna put this in a bundle to sell. Another thing I'm gonna declutter and just put in the box to give away to my youth group is this Amore Pacific Color Control Cushion Compact. Honestly, if I wanna try this out, I will just go to the store and test it out. This has more of pink undertones and I'm not pink, I'm more of like a beige, so 
yeah, I'm just not gonna even keep it. I'm gonna get rid of this. Okay, these three I'm going to keep. These are just like face paints, and I love it because I'm planning on doing a Wizard of Oz makeup, uh, not makeup tutorial. I, well, maybe a, uh, you make a Wizard of Oz makeup tutorial, but a Wizard of Oz music video. Yes, that'll be in the works. So I'll put those to the side over here. Like I mentioned, I'm trying to go cruelty free. This NARS, I love it. I am not gonna repurchase it, but I do wanna use it up. And then all three of these I'm keeping too. I love this Wet n Wild concealer. It's a great drugstore concealer. It's a little bit drying, but I use it for my under eyes and blemishes. And then these, I just discovered this one. You know what? This one's so old. I'm gonna toss that one. I'm going to toss that one, but I'm going to keep this and repurchase. This is the Bare Minerals Bare Skin Complete Coverage Serum Concealer. This was my Holy Grail concealer last year, and then I just forgot all about it. And then when I was really going through my uh, my products, I rediscovered it and refell in love with it. So this is just going to be my go-to everyday concealer. If you have really dry under eyes, it's going to be great for you as well. So yeah, that's a concealer that I'm going to be keeping. For foundations, I have these three foundations. The It Cosmetics CC Cream, the Fenty Beauty Foundation, and the Smashbox Studio Skin. Okay, I think honestly I'm going to test this out for one more week. And then Editing Brie, let me know if I decluttered it or not. Because I think that... That the formula is just old and that it's time for me to get rid of it. I'm wondering if that's why my skin is breaking out. So this one would put to the side. I am almost done of this It Cosmetic CC Cream, so I'm gonna keep it. It's one of my favorite foundations. I'm gonna definitely repurchase that. So I'm gonna keep that. And then the Fenty Beauty, I love this foundation. So I'm keeping that one as well. Now, as far as the primers, I found my Holy Grail primer. It's this primer. I honestly rarely use primer. I don't use primer with this foundation. I do use it with this. And the one that I use is the Cover FX Illuminating Primer. I'm almost done with this one, which is why I bought it back up, because they were having the 20% off sale for Sephora. I'm loving these, and honestly, I'm gonna declutter both of these. I just don't need them. It's the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer, and so I'm gonna get rid of those. Next up, I'm gonna show you my contour and powders. I only have one powder, which I am so excited about. This is my ultimate favorite powder. This is by Too Faced, and it is the Born This Way Ethereal Setting Powder. I am keeping this baby. It is my favorite. I will be def I will definitely repurchase this once I am up. It's amazing, especially for dry skin. It really does brighten your under eyes, and so yeah, great, great product. As far as my contour palettes are concerned, I have this Tardius Tartiest Pro Glow Palette. I am obsessed with this. This has the best cream contour I've ever used, and so I will be keeping this, but I am going to get rid of my Kat Von D Shade and Light Contour Palette. It just does not work for my skin. I cannot blend it out. It always looks streaky and patchy, and if you've seen my videos recently and my bronzer looks really patchy, especially my Vlogmas videos, it's because of this. So I'm gonna see if I can return this because I bought this during the VIB sale. If I can return this to Sephora, I will. If not, I'm gonna sell it in a bundle because to me it's not worth it, but I'm sure someone else will love this. So that I'm decluttering, <laughs> and everyone else I'm keeping. So I'm just decluttering one from this. This is the um, It Cosmetics Warm Radiance bronzer slash highlight duo. It's beautiful. It's very comparable to this, the pure bronzer. Actually, no, it's not because this is more of like a shimmery bronzer. I love it, especially during the summer. This is the pure bronzer in Mineral Glow. It reminds me of Max Give Me Sun bronzer. It's just a beautiful bronzer. So I'm keeping that one. I'm definitely keeping this. I love this. This is the Marc Jacobs Omega bronzer in Tantastic. Love this. Wish it wasn't limited edition. And then the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. I love this. I've hit pan on this. I want to use this up and then buy a full size. But yeah, this is my bronzer collection. So I have two bronzers, two contours, and then a palette, like a highlight palette. On to highlighters. So as you can see, I have a couple of cream highlighters, baked matte highlighters, shimmery highlighters, glitters, and highlighter palettes. So I'm gonna start with the highlighter palettes because I am keeping both. This one I actually created for myself. It's a mixture of two different Anastasia glow kits, and I just kept all of the light shades. I'm gonna be selling, selling the darker shades in like a um, darker skin complexion makeup uh, bundle, but I kept the lighter shades. These are beautiful, beautiful highlighters. So I'm gonna be keeping that for sure. This one I love, this is like an old, this is the OG Becca the Jaclyn Hill Champagne Pop um, trio that they came out with, and this was a limited edition, but I love this. So I'm gonna be keeping this one as well. The other one that I'm gonna be keeping is this one. I just rediscovered this. This is my OG Champagne Pop uh, Becca 
highlighter. It is shattered, so I want to repress it. I've never done that before. Um, so if you have any videos as to how to press it, let me know down below. I love this. I tried it out and I'm obsessed. I just don't want to open it because it's going to make everything messy. But I will be keeping that. These are my cream products and I will be keeping my Marc Jacobs Do Me, Do You, or Do You do you do drops? I love this. It is a beautiful, beautiful gold. So I will be keeping that one, but I will not be keeping this 10 to boxy charm liquid glow. It's just not the right shade for me. It's just a little too pink for my skin. So I'm going to be letting this one go. What's another item that I can declutter? This. This is just too glittery for my face and it's not very pigmented. This is the Essence Light Up Your Face Luminizer Palette. It has three different shades. One is like a blush. This is more of a blush. This is like a topper and then this one is just so glittery. It's pretty, but not for me. So I'm gonna declutter that one as well. And then another one I'm gonna declutter, which makes me so sad, I'm gonna sell it in a bundle, is this Ofra highlighter. I just got this, which makes me heartbroken. This is the highlighter in Beverly Hills. I'm just not a fan, and I can't make the color work for my skin. You can really tell that I'm wearing a bright white highlighter on my face, and so I'm gonna declutter this one as well. So that is three so far. I am keeping this one though. This is Rodeo Drive. Yeah, Rodeo Drive by Ofra. I am obsessed with this highlighter, which is why I bought the Beverly Hills, uh, because everyone was raving about it, but this gold is stunning, especially during the, the summertime. This, paired with this, is a great duo. This one is a duochrome NYX highlighter. I'm actually wearing it today as a mermaid, and I use it for mermaid days, and it is beautiful. So I will be keeping that one. This Laura Mercier. Laura Mercier is not cruelty free, so I want to use this up. This is a beautiful matte highlighter. I honestly prefer this one over the Essence Pure Nude. This is one that's going to be in the maybe pile. I have days where I love this, and I have days where I hate it. I'm just going to test it out, and Editing Brie, let us know if I kept it or if I decluttered it. This Ben Nye Luminizer is a beautiful, beautiful glitter, and between these two glitters, this is the Inglot um, Sparkling Dust Face, Eyes, and Body. I prefer this one. It's just gorgeous. So I'm going to keep this one and I'm going to give these to my youth group ladies to see if they want to um, play with it. And then the final highlighter that I have is the Tarte Exposed Highlighter. I did not like this. This has had a love-hate relationship. I loved it and then I hated it and then I loved it and then I hated it and then I was going to declutter it and then decided, you know what, let me try it with a different brush. And this paired with the Anastasia brush is beautiful oh my gosh it's so gorgeous so i'm gonna keep that for brow products this is what i use for brows and i'm keeping everything just because i figured out my staple brows so to just show you i have two of these one was given to me by essence and then one i purchased i'm trying to use these both up i'm not the biggest fan of these to be honest i'm not the biggest fan but i just want to use them up um and then i'm gonna try the nyx setting brow whatever mascara <laughs> Um, I'm gonna use the NYX one and see if I like that, but I just want to go ahead and use these up. This I love. This is the Anastasia Brow Wiz, and then I have a backup because this one I'm almost up. I mean, I use this every single day, and that's how much I have left. This is the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade. I love that, and then this is the Pixie Brow Powder Palette, and I'm obsessed with this, and as you can see, I really love it. I've hit pan um, on multiple of these eyeshadows because I use these three right here. Next up, we have blushes, and this one I know there's going to be a couple of maybe products just because I'm a little bit on the fence. So I'm going to separate the ones that I know that I'm going to declutter and the ones that I know I'm going to keep. So the one that I know that I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna keep this Gwen Stefani uh, blush palette. I just tried it again and I'm obsessed. Look at all those beautiful shades. So I will be keeping that. What I'm gonna get rid of is this Real Her, Real Her Be Fearless, Be Limitless. I swatched it and I wasn't a fan. They're so glittery. This is one of the reasons why I'm getting rid of BoxyCharm is lately I have not been loving the products. It's been like one item out of the five that you get and so I don't think it's worth it in my opinion um, but that's just my own personal opinion so yeah I'm gonna be getting rid of this one I'm gonna get rid of these two 
blushes by Milani. They're pretty. They just don't work for my skin tone. They're just a little too pink for my skin. Um, I got rid of the other two, so I have none of these in my collection now. Uh, this is Berry Rays, and this one is Coral Beams. So those are items I'm getting rid of. I'm also going to get rid of this blush. I used to love this blush, but I tried it again, and I'm just not a fan anymore. This is the Makeup Revolution The Matte Blush Powder Plus. It's not cruelty-free, and I have blushes that are very similar to this. So I'm getting rid of that one. Blushes that I know that I'm keeping are my Tarte blushes. These three blushes I'm obsessed with. They are amazing, amazing, amazing high quality blushes. So I will be keeping those. Another blush I love is this blush. This is by... This is by Studio Makeup, and this is the Luminous Loose Blush. It's a beautiful everyday blush. Keeping that one. Another blush I know that I'm keeping is the Luminoso by Milani. I love this formula much more than the newer formula. This is the Color Harmony. I prefer the baked blushes over the Color Harmony, so I will be keeping that blush. And as you can see, they're all kind of similar. Hopefully next year I can even declutter these blushes uh, down to maybe three. Another blush I'm keeping is this Inglot blush. I don't have anything like this in my collection. It's more of a mauve tone blush. It's gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. It's not cruelty free. So that's a bummer, but um, I'm okay with trying to use that one up. Now these I'm a little on the fence about. This Essence Satin Touch blush is a beautiful beautiful blush. It is gorgeous. I'm just on the fence. So editing Brie let me know if you kept this or not. And then these bad boys, oh my gosh. I love them, they just don't last long. That's my problem. Like that is a gorgeous blush. This one is Rose Champagne. I know I wanna keep Rose Champagne, so I'm gonna keep Rose Champagne. I think I'm gonna test this one out this week and Editing Brie, let me know if you keep it or not. And then this blush by NARS, it's a really pretty blush. It's so unique and so different. It's in the shade Gulu. Just NARS isn't cruelty free anymore. For some reason, blush is just really hard for me to get rid of. I don't know why, it just is. Especially since I do use this as a mermaid. Okay, I'm gonna try using this as a mermaid and see if I like the color. And then Editing Brie, let us know if you're keeping it or if you're cluttering it. We're gonna go into palettes. Honestly, this one's gonna be really tough. So I'm gonna let you guys know ahead of time, there's gonna be a really weird declutter for this because there are some eyeshadow palettes that I am keeping specifically for a video that I'm doing as a collaboration with my friend Liv here, uh, Liv Loves Her Makeup, but as soon as I'm done filming that video, I am going to be decluttering them. So I will let you know which eyeshadow palettes I will eventually be decluttering because by the time you probably see this video, that video will hopefully be up or um, it'll be in the works of being posted. So yeah, we're gonna have a pile for eyeshadow palettes that will eventually be decluttered after I film that video, palettes that I'm keeping, palettes that will be decluttered, and then obviously the maybe pile. So let's start with the items that I know that I'm going to be getting rid of. Right off the bat, I'm getting rid of this eyeshadow palette. This is the NYX Ultimate multi Finish Shadow Palette. I will never use this. I will never use this. I'm not an 80s gal. I was not born in the 80s. I will never wear these eyeshadows, so I'm getting rid of that. This one I know I'm also getting rid of too, which breaks my heart. I just don't love it anymore. I don't love it. They don't last very long anymore. This is the Lorac Pro to, Glow, Pro to Go. It's not cruelty free. It's a beautiful everyday basic palette, but I'm gonna give these to um, my youth group to see if they wanna play with it. Yeah, so that one I'm getting rid of. Palettes I know I'm keeping. I'm gonna be keeping this one just because it is gorgeous. Besame I will never be purchasing again, I don't think, just because the way that they've treated some of my friends, I'm not a big fan of. Hopefully their PR could be um, a little bit more professional later on in the future, but, um, because if so, I will definitely repurchase them from them. But for now, I am not. But this palette is gorgeous. So I will be keeping that. This palette I know I'm keeping. My Tartlet and Bloom. I love this palette. So that one I am keeping for sure. This palette I'm going to just pull randomly. The, um, the Balm Nude Beach palette. Oh my gosh, guys. This is another gorgeous palette. I ended up getting rid of my Too Faced Peach palette. I was not a fan of it after all. And I prefer this one over that. So I am keeping that one. Another one I am for sure keeping is my Naked Ultimate Basics palette. It's a beautiful matte basics palette. I think it's the only Urban Decay palette that I own. Yeah, I think I've gotten rid of all the other ones, so keeping that one. Another one, oh, I love this palette. Another palette I will be keeping is my Too Faced Chocolate Bar palette. This is a beautiful, beautiful palette, my OG palette. 
keeping that one. Another palette I'm keeping is my Tartlet, the original palette. I just played with that recently and I'm obsessed with that palette. So that's a palette I am keeping. I am also keeping my Modern Renaissance Anastasia palette. That is another gorgeous palette. Another palette I know that I'm keeping is this Winky Lux palette. Um, I actually got this from BoxyCharm. It is so cute. The colors here are beautiful. I don't have anything like this in my collection. I know that I'm keeping this note palette. It's so basic and all smoky and blacks, but this is perfect for theatrical makeup. So I will be keeping that one. Now, uh, these are all my I don't know if I want to keep palettes. So let me just kind of move you guys and adjust. This one is in a maybe pile just because I love the packaging. It's beautiful, but... I don't know if I want to keep it just for the packaging. I mean, if I pull it out, look how beautiful that is. Taylor's oldest time. It's stunning. Oh no, it still has the brush and everything. I've barely touched this. I need to play with it again. So um, I'm definitely going to keep it for the video that I'm going to be doing. But I don't know if I will be keeping it after the video we'll see yeah editing brie let me know if i'm keeping this or not so this is in the maybe pile this one this is the velvet uh, velvet 59 exotic lotus palette it's a beautiful palette don't get me wrong but it's now starting to smell because it's vegan and so vegan items typically go bad after a while and this is 12 months so i'm just going to keep it for that one video and then i'm going to declutter it same with this one honestly I, I loved it, but the smell gets to me. This is the Nubian palette by Juvia. So this is one that I'm gonna be getting rid of as well eventually. This one I'm on the fence, to be honest. This is the real her. I don't normally wear cool tone eyeshadows, but this one is beautiful on my eyes. So I don't know. I don't know if I'm gonna keep this or not. Editing Brie, let us know if you are keeping it. This one, oh, this is another one. I just don't know if I'm going to keep it. There are some shades that I absolutely love, and then there's some that I, I don't know. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this in the maybe pile. And then this one, this is the Rainforest of the Sea palette. I think I'm going to keep it for the video, and then I'm going to let it go. Next up are false lashes, and all of these I am keeping. I have found some holy grail eyelashes. The first one are the Nikki Philippi Eye Lure lashes. I've got Midnight Meow and Flirty Feline. These are half lashes. These are full lengthen um, lashes. They are great. So I'm going to use up all of these. I use up all of my lashes, which is great. These are the 105s. These are by Ardell, and I have a full pack of these. These are great everyday lashes. So so I go through these, I mean, without any issues. And then I recently bought these. These are Huda Beauty lashes. I have Giselle and Samantha. These are gorgeous, gorgeous lashes. I am obsessed with these. And then I have two of the Duo Glue brush on adhesives with vitamin E. This one I'm almost done with, so once I use that up, then I only have one, which is great. Okay, so next up we've got single eyeshadows and um, primers. Basically anything that has to deal with the eyes that is like single. Uh, first of all, I see this blush that I am not going to be keeping. It's by Ben Nye. I don't know why it's in this collection, so that's going to be another one that I'm decluttering. So that's another blush out the window. These Ben Nye eyeshadows I am keeping. They are great for theatrical makeup. I'm going to be keeping all of these. That's one, two, three, four, five, six that I will be keeping. This is by Ben Nye, and this is the shade Gold. I'm going to be decluttering. So that's going to that side. This Urban Decay eyeshadow and tonic is a beautiful eyeshadow. I mean, it's stunning. That one I'm keeping for sure. This NYX eyeshadow, it's the baked eyeshadow, is stunning as well. This is in Vortex. I'm going to keep that one as well. All of these bases, um, I'm going to be keeping. These bases, we've got the NYX Proof It eye Waterproof Eyeshadow Base. It's not my favorite, but I want to use it up. The Glitter Primer by NYX, I'm going to be keeping. The NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Black Bean, I will be keeping. And then my favorite, which is the Too Faced 24 Hour uh Primer. I'm going to keep that one as well. Okay, I see a glitter. I'm going to keep this one glitter. It's the 02 by NYX, as well as these two glitters that are going to be more of like theatrical makeup. I've got these two NYX eyeshadows. One is in Golden Peach and one is in Frostbite. I know for sure I'm going to be getting rid of a Golden Peach. This one, though, is so unique. Let me just swatch it for you guys. I don't know if you can even see that. Oh, it's just stunning. And I wasn't going to keep it, but when you put it in your inner corner, it brightens up your eyes and makes you just look so ethereal and alive. And yeah, I love it. So I will be keeping that eyeshadow. These two Victoria's Secret 
eyeshadows I've had since I worked at Victoria's Secret back in 2010 when they had eyeshadows and honestly it's time to get rid of them. This is in the shade Primal which is a beautiful shade and this one is in the shade Private Beach. Remember when this was an OG eyeshadow that everyone craved and wanted on YouTube? Like those were the days man. Those were the days. But they're just so old so I'm actually going to be tossing those and getting rid of those. This MAC eyeshadow while it's beautiful. First of all MAC is not cruelty free and the eyeshadow that's in my Manny MUA and Makeup Geek palette is pretty much identical so I'm going to be getting rid of that one. This little rock eyeshadow I've had for years. It's a black eyeshadow. It smells terrible. I'm tossing that one. These ColourPop eyeshadows. I have the shades Waddle, which I'm obsessed with Waddle. I'm keeping that. That's my favorite one. This is Desert, which is a beautiful shade as well and I've hit Pan so I want to use that one up. This one is in the shade Cornelius, which is very, very similar. Very similar to Desert. Um, but I, like I said, I want to use this one up and then I'll start to use that one up too. And then this one is in Bandit. These LOC by Tati One and Done Shadow Sticks. I'm going to be keeping Night Owl. I'm obsessed with this purple, but I am getting rid of Smokescreen and Impress Me. So those I'm decluttering. And then my final one is the Stila... Sea Siren. This is the Magnificent Metals Glitter and Glow Liquid Eyeshadow. I love this. I want to get more of these, so I'm keeping that. So I've already gone through these and figured out what I'm decluttering and what I'm keeping. The first thing that I'm going to be decluttering is this Cotton Candy uh, Liner. It's not my favorite. That's going. This is going to, this is the Au Natural. It's green. It's pretty. Honestly, it's just very sheer, and I'm not going to use it, so I'm going to get rid of that one as well. That's two items decluttered. And then um, as far as the other liners, I'm keeping them, which I put to the side. So this is a beautiful liner. It's the NYX Faux Whites in Linen. It's a light pink. I'm keeping that. This one is the Pacifica liner. And I want to try to use this one up, so I will be keeping that one as well. These three are my favorite liners. They're the Marc Jacobs Highliner liners. I want to collect all of these liners. They are incredible. So I will be keeping those. This is another black that I love. This is the Pop Beauty liner. It's a beautiful, beautiful black liner. I'm going to be keeping that. So there's the liners I'm keeping. These are the liners I'm getting rid of. And then I have liquid liners. So I've got the NYX Epic Ink liquid liner. Obsessed with that one. These liners I'm going to be keeping as well. Actually, you know what? I've kept this for such a long time and I don't use it. This is the Vivid Brights Vivid Violet liner. It's a beautiful liner. I just don't use it. I mean, I used it during the summertime. I'm gonna get rid of it. And then these two liners, the Kat Von D is almost up, and then the Epic Ink, these are both almost up. So I'm gonna keep those. Now for mascaras, uh, the two that I'm gonna get rid of, I've never even opened this, touched it. I hate this mascara. I had a sample of it. They give it in the boxy charm a full size, and I hate this mascara. It's the Tarte Tartiste mascara. It is the runniest mascara of all time. If you have runny eyes, liquidy eyes, this will make you look like the uh, character from Mulan. I will insert a picture right here. Yeah. So hate that. Going to be selling that in a bundle. This mascara, I'm done. And I'm not going to repurchase because it's not cruelty free. It's a L'Oreal Luminous Voluminous Lash Paradise Mascara in Waterproof. And yeah, I'm going to toss that one. And then these mascaras I'm going to be keeping. This has become one of my great, like, my holy grail staples in my collection. It's the Essence Lash Princess False Lash Effect Mascara. I have two bottles of that. And I just want to get through at least one of them. So I'm going to keep those. This is the Clinique Bottom Lash Mascara. I'm almost done with this, and then I can finally toss it and declutter it. Um, so eventually I will be decluttering that one. This, this is my Holy Grail Mascara. I'm definitely going to be repurchasing this. These will be my two staple mascaras in my collection. This is the It Cosmetics Superhero Mascara. Beautiful, beautiful mascara. Lasts all day. It gives length, definition, curl, longevity. It's just an incredible mascara. So I will be keeping that one. And then this one is a good mascara too. This is the Ciate. A Wonderland, Wonder something, Wonder Wand, Wonder Wand mascara, and it's good too. So now we are on to lip liners and lip pencils. This one, I already know exactly what I'm keeping and what I'm letting go of. First of all, the ColourPop lippy pencils. This one is in Lumiere. I love this shade. It's just old and it smells bad and these go bad really quickly. So I'm letting go of that one. And then this one is Chateau and it's limited edition. It's a beautiful shade. It just is messy and it does not stay in place. So 
so I'm gonna get rid of that one. Lip liners that I'm getting rid of are these three right here. So the first one is the lip liner in Honeyberry. This is a terrible liner. I'm actually gonna be tossing this liner. Yeah, I'm gonna be tossing that liner. This liner right here by Ben Nye. Um, I own a big size of this and I love this pencil. This is in Salsa. So I'm gonna give this away to someone else so that they can try it. And then this one by Lorac, I have had for years and it's just time for me to let that one go. This is a nude sticks pencil and uh, this dries my lips out. So I'm gonna get rid of that one. I'm also gonna be getting rid of this Laga, Laga Cloud Lips. It does the exact same thing as the ColourPop Dark shade. It is beautiful. It's another one that I got from ColourPop. Not ColourPop. BoxyCharm. It's a beautiful, beautiful shade as you can see right there, but it doesn't last long and then it bleeds out of my lip line. So yeah, that's another item I'm getting rid of. Now I'm going to show you the items that are not cruelty free, but I am going to be keeping and I'm gonna to try to use up. Makeup Forever lip liners in 9C and 2C, and then we've got the MAC Absolutely It. I have another MAC one, this one. You know what, this is in Subculture. It's really pretty, but I'm gonna get rid of that one too. And this is the MAC Prep and Prime. This makes my liquid lipstick stay in place. I love it. I got it as a gift, and so I just wanna use it up, but it's beautiful. The next lip liners that I'm keeping is the NYX Suede in Alabama. We've got the NYX lip liner in Mauve, the NYX lip liner in Aria, and actually let me make sure. Yeah, beautiful. In Aria, and then the NYX lip liner, I think this is in Peekaboo. Yep, in Peekaboo. So keeping those. And then I have these two nude sticks that I love. This one is in Purity, it's so beautiful. And this one is in Rose. So I'll be keeping those sticks. The other stick that I am keeping is this one by, actually, am I keeping this? Yes, this is by By Beauty, and I think this one is in Kava? Oh, that's so stunning. What is it in? Glossé. Glossé. Beautiful shade. So I'm keeping that. This is the Ben Nye lip liner in Salsa. It's in the full size, so I want to keep that one. I've got this Jante Beauty lip liner in Spice. Great color. This is the Essence lip liner in Soft Berry. And then this is the Urban Decay lip liner in Rock Steady. One of the best formulations. And then finally, I've got this Bite Beauty lip liner. Next up, we have lipsticks. And honestly, I know exactly what I'm getting rid of and what I'm keeping. First things first, let's start with lip balms. I'm getting rid of this Burt's Bees Beeswax lip balm with vitamin E and peppermint. Hate that one, but I love these. These are the Skin Fix Natural Vanilla Mint uh, Lip Repair Balm, and this one is in Lemon. So I will be keeping those two. I will be keeping the Tarte Color Splash Lipstick in a five o'clock, beautiful shade, keeping that one. I am getting rid of my uh, Maybelline Matte Lipstick and Clay Crush. I'm actually just going to probably toss it. Yeah, it's broke. Okay, sorry guys, my battery died. But anyway, I was saying that I'm going to be decluttering this. It's old. I loved the shade, don't get me wrong, but it's broken now, and so I'm just gonna be tossing this shade. Next up, we've got these Makeup Forever lipsticks. I've had these forever. They're beautiful. They are gorgeous but I no longer wear this shade. Um, so I'm gonna toss this one and then I'm gonna see if one of my uh, girls wants this one. Bite Beauty, I've got Bite Beauty lipstick in Beetroot. Beautiful shade, it just doesn't work for me, so I'm gonna declutter that one, but I am going to be keeping Pepper. Um, beautiful, beautiful neutral shade. This uh, Tarte Beach Bum, I wish I bought a full size of this. I'm almost done, as you can see. It's like broken. Oh no, I think I broke it again. Dang it. This Ben Nye lipstick and blushable is a beautiful shade. As you can see, I'm almost done with that, so I'm gonna use that one up. These MAC lipsticks. Now, while they are not cruelty-free, my mom actually gave these to me. She was so sweet. This one is in Velvet Teddy, brand new lipsticks. This one is in Taupe. This one's my favorite out of the two, so I'm gonna use them and I'm gonna try to use them up. And then these Marc Jacob lipsticks. I'm gonna keep both of these. This one is in the shade So Rouge. It's a beautiful red, beautiful, beautiful red, as you can see right there, just stunning. And then this one I haven't even used, so I'm gonna take it out of its box because this was one of my Holy Grail favorite shades. And this one is in Kiss Kiss Bang Bang. Beautiful, beautiful shade. That's it right there, just stunning. I love the way these smell. So yeah, I'm gonna be keeping those. So we're gonna start with just the lip glosses. This lip cream or lip mousse by Absolute New York, I'm getting rid of that one. 
Another one I'm getting rid of is the Too Faced Sweet Peach Creamy Peach Oil Lip Gloss. This smells terrible. Getting rid of that. This Anastasia Beverly Hills Lip Gloss I'm keeping. This is in Kristen Obsessed with the shade. I'm getting rid of all of my Jouer Liquid Lipsticks. These are my last three. I've gotten rid of all of them. I had like 13 in my collection this past year and I'm getting rid of all of them. I do not like the formula anymore. It's super dry and yeah getting rid of all of those. Uh, Beauty Bakery. So there are a couple of shades that I'm getting rid of and a couple of them that I know that I'm keeping and then one shade that I want to test out again. The shade that I know that I'm getting rid of is the Merlot lip shade. Don't like that color. Then the shade that I'm a little bit on the fence about is this shade. I just want to try it one more time. Editing Brie, let me know if I'm keeping it. This is in the shade Cranberry Stiletto. This formula is very drying, but I now realized how you're supposed to apply it. So I want to see if it lasts long. If not, then I will get rid of it entirely. Same with the shade too. This is a beautiful shade. It's in Raspberry Tiramisu. These are maybes. I might be decluttering them. And then these two I am for sure keeping. This one is in Ginger Snap, and this one is in it Syruptitious. Next up, we've got this pretty vulgar liquid lipstick. I don't even know what this is. It's like a metallic liquid lipstick. I'm not going to test it out because I don't wear metallic, so I am decluttering that one. Got it in Boxy Charm. This Stila liquid lipstick in Dulce is a beautiful nude. Keeping that one. All of these liquid lipsticks I am keeping. I am missing an Ofra liquid lipstick that I will be decluttering, so that's in this pile, but all of these I'm keeping. This is the M Cosmetics liquid lipstick in Rosewood, great color. This is the Wet n Wild Cat Suit Liquid Lipstick in Give Me Mocha, beautiful shade. I have several Ofra Liquid Lipsticks. These are my favorite. And then the final two items that I'm keeping, this is a ColourPop Liquid Lipstick in Monday, beautiful, beautiful shade. And then this is the Balm Matte Meets Hues Liquid Lipstick. So before I put away my makeup, I wanna show you how many items I'm getting rid of because I think when you see it in sections, you can't really fully take in and grasp how many items I'm getting rid of. But see all of this makeup right here? Here. This is all that I'm getting rid of and there are 55 items. Now, if I get rid of the maybe pile as well, 65 items. So editing Brie, let me know the total of items that I am decluttering, which 55 items in general is a lot of makeup to get rid of. So the fact that I'm getting fit rid of 55 just makes me so happy. Hello, it's future Brie again. I also forgot to do an outro. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. I'm gonna be doing an updated makeup collection video very soon. By the way, if you hear any noise in the background, I am doing laundry. I'm trying to be a good wife and getting stuff done while I'm being sick. But anyway, sorry if this was a little chaotic. My life was a little hectic and chaotic while I was decluttering, but as you could see, when you declutter, it gives you a little bit more clarity and less stress in your life, and so I encourage you, even if you just declutter one thing out of your life, one thing is better to let go of than to hold on and to hoard. I look forward to continually decluttering and I hope you guys enjoy this series. Let me know is there something in your life that you need to declutter and if so I encourage you to just take the step forward and do so. But with that being said I hope you guys have a wonderful week and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.